As long as we're talking about all these concepts about owning media and capture and import, it's pretty important to mention at this point AMA, otherwise known as Avid Media Access. And it's, it's particularly relevant because most of the cameras that we encounter nowadays are file-based. That is, instead of shooting the videotape, they're shooting to a digital file on a chip or a card. These file-based cameras have become tremendously popular over the last five years. And instead of ingesting, instead of capturing and owning the media, if we could link to it, we could go a lot faster. We could just link to the file and they would be instantly available online. And that's exactly what AMA does. It doesn't own the media. It just immediately links from the clip to the physical file out on your system. Some of the formats that AMA covers includes QuickTime, and that would be files from your DSLR cameras. It also handles ProRes from uh, Apple's own professional resolution codec. It handles P2 files, be it DVC Pro HD or AVC IntraFrame. It handles Sony's XD Cam and HD Cam SR formats, RED files, and the newer AVC HD. These formats are all wonderful, but there are some caveats you should know about AMA. First, they'll all require an installer. Now, this is great because if in the future a new camera, a new format comes out, the camera manufacturer makes an installer to make their files accessible by AMA, and it'll work in your Avid without even a software update being necessary. Your Media Composer works a little bit harder with this footage, especially in heavily compressed formats like H.264. You should just be aware that you're going to need a better or faster computer if you intend to work only in an AMA workflow. At some point, these clips have to be owned by the Avid. They have to be transcoded. Whether it's the sequence, just what you used, or all of your files, you'll need to, at some point in the workflow chain, say these files need to become Media Composer Media. If you haven't had the Avid own the file and you move the original file somewhere else, it's dangerous, and you'll need to relink it. Editing from the card is absolutely something that you can do, but it's dangerous because if you eject the card without having the Avid own the media, it means that the Avid won't know where the media is anymore and it'll be offline. The classic case is if you're in news or a fast workflow and you choose to edit directly from the card, the very last step would be to take your sequence and then transcode it to your local hard drive. So these are the big things you need to know about with AMA. It's just essentially the Avid linking to media rather than owning it. And just so you know, at the end, at some point you have to have the Avid own the media.